Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Time for another Metal Earth build. Today, something a bit new, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Time to start putting together some dinosaur bones. I used to have little wooden kits when I was a kid where you just put all the different wood pieces together and you had a very similar looking skeleton. So I'm kind of excited about doing this. I've waited too long. Let's open this up and put it together. Oh boy, oh boy, a skeleton. Tyrannosaurus Rex, a dinosaur skeleton. Let's see what's inside. And we have the usual instructions and two metal sheets. Set these aside. Open up the what appears to be one page of instructions or one sheet, probably four pages. We open it up to the first page. We are presented with our usual Metal Earth 3D laser cut models, the line drawing of the kit. We have a section about insertion tabs, fold lines, insertion holes, a bit about needle nose pliers being helpful for assembly. We have the blue circle, which I always call this the legend. The blue circle means to bend tabs over 90 degrees. The green triangle means to insert them and twist them. 90 degrees. There's no legend like some of the newer ones have engraved and non-engraved. That doesn't seem to be an issue here. And then down at the bottom we have the layout of the two sheets. There's one. There's two. It shows you all the numbers of all the different parts so you can find them once you see it in the instructions. And some of these are colored there's several blue, several yellow. Typically the colored pieces are all the same part. These two are the same. All of these blue are the same. So one or maybe two will be numbered. The rest of them you just gotta kind of find. And that makes it a lot easier to do so. If we slide over to page two, to the start of the assembly flowchart, we start with part one, part two, shape and form. Part three, four, five, and just follow through and shape and fold and form and put the parts together all the way down to the bottom. Flip over for page three. On the back on page three, you just continue on following the arrows. And for the most part, the part numbers, they'll jump back some because there's duplicate parts, but they'll mostly go in order. Slide over to page four, follow the arrows, and you are done. Let's talk tools. I have a pretty standard set of tools that I use in most every build. I have needle nose pliers. I have flat nose pliers. I have flush clippers. These are a must for me. They clip parts off the sheets quickly and cleanly. I have a set of precision tweezers, one with a very pointed end, one with a pointed end ground down slightly, and flat set with a sort of curved tip, useful for twisting tabs in slightly curved areas also have a pretty standard set of tweezers with a flat angled end. These come in one of the Iconics kits and I use them a lot. Curved needle nose pliers to me are very useful for bending over longer thin areas that have obstructions that keep regular needle nose pliers from getting to them and being helpful. They can also be handy in tight places. We've got the sheets, we've looked at the instructions, got some tools together to get going. Let's put it together. Shaping this skull was a little different than I had expected and a tad more complex.
I still often use my fingernails to bend over tabs. I may have put part 6 on backwards, the instructions did not indicate which way the engraved side went and I may have guessed wrong. Be sure the two halves match up or you will have trouble getting the slots in the tabs. I made that mistake a few times. Starting with part 13, there are tabs to bend over to hold the two halves in place. Part 18 has two extra tabs that are used later on, only bend over and around the two lower tabs.
and repeat for the other side of the tail. The picture on the packaging is almost misleading. You cannot really see the curve in the hip bone. Thank goodness for the 360 degree view.
The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Very neat looking. I will admit that in the beginning, putting all these spines on or, or rib cage pieces or what have you, I knew it was going to be at least a little bit tedious. It was a little bit more tedious than I expected. I figured just plug it in, plug it in, twist the tabs, but the, the folding it over and the fact that because it's two pieces folded in and there's a tab on one side and a tab on the other they, they tend to sit a little bit of an angle and that's hard to correct or compensate for but it's all together once i got past all of these it became less tedious and more fun so from the start i was not having as much fun as i normally would with a metal earth build but it got better and it looks good I did almost break the foot at the back when I was trying to attach him to the base and he twisted. So I'm not real fond of how thin a joint the feet have connecting to his body. This kit took around three hours to build, probably a little more than I expected, thinking it was going to be a simpler kit, just a matter of time putting the pieces on. They took longer than I thought. I really enjoyed the look. I was afraid that I was going to be disappointed in the end results. It does look nice. I look forward to getting more of the dinosaur models and putting those together, but I had to start somewhere and I think this is a good choice. The arms are a little sad looking and I know Tyrannosaurus Rex arms are kind of sad looking and short, but this kind of like the weakest part of this model is how the arms look. I might go back and, and twist them and make them look a little different. Right now they're just very flat, but I believe that's what the instructions say to do. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on.